Hey guys, I'm Nick, I get the one and only games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the armor status HUD in Minecraft 1.8. Let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, you want to go to Minecraft Forms, or MinecraftForm.net says Forms says it doesn't matter. First link in the description down below. Go down there, click that, it will take you here. Where you want to scroll down until you see first BSPKR's core. Well, what is this, Nick? This isn't what I want. Yes, it is. You need this to install Armor Status HUD. So let's go ahead and get it installed. To do that, you simply want to right click on download for 1.8 right here and open it in a new tab. It'll automatically download in the background while we're getting Armor Status HUD. To get that, we want to click on more info right under here under Armor Status HUD, and then scroll down until you see this. We then want to again right click on this and open it in a new tab, and bada bing bada boom, this one's downloaded. We want to keep it. Come over here. Two seconds, one second, there you go. This one's also downloaded, but we're still not done. We need to download one more thing, and that one more thing is Minecraft Forge from files.minecraftforge.net, or the second link in the description down below. If you go down there and click that, you want to go over Minecraft 1.8. Make sure you're on 1.8 once you've done that. You want to click installer. It will then take you off to add focus where we have to wait five seconds. And these five seconds I'm going to say is if you have any issues with that focus, simply right click and reload. If that doesn't help, Google how to enable cookies on whatever browser you have. Go to the tutorials there and come back and it should work. If it doesn't, sadly, there's nothing I can do for you. Add focus is something that Forge has to use to make a little bit of money back off of all of the work they put into their mod. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip add up here. Once we've done that, Forge will download, and if we minimize our browser, we'll see we have three things downloaded. But Nick, they're not on my desktop. Well, no reason to fret. So hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in downloads, hit enter. They'll be right here in your downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use because they won't be there long. Nevertheless, once you've done that, let's go ahead and uh, get things installed. First and foremost, we're starting with Forge. To do that, right click on Forge. You want to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It's going to open up this handy little installer. Click on Install Client. Click OK. It'll go through, download some things, do some stuff. Woohoo! Successfully installed Forge Client Profile. Click OK, and we can now delete the Forge file uh, we downloaded. Now, let's go ahead and get the uh, mods themselves installed. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent, app, data, percent, percent, app data, percent, exactly like that. Hit enter. It will take us here. And then we want to go into the .minecraft folder where we'll have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't freak out. Simply create one. Right click over here in the white space, create a new folder, title it MODS. All lowercase, exactly like that. Mods, all lowercase. If it's not exactly like I have it, it will not work, so make sure it is. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and do that and open the newly created mods folder. Now we simply want to drop BS PKR's core and armor status HUD into this folder and then open up Minecraft uh, 1.8 in the launcher. However, we do want to be careful. We want to make sure we're opening Forge here, not just regular vanilla 1.8 vanilla for a reason we want forge to make sure you're opening forge click on the profile you want to play in my case that's nick's games hit edit profile and go to use version right here yours is most likely up here use latest version or release 1.8.4 whichever one it is doesn't matter go ahead and click on this box scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see release 1.8 forge click that click save profile click play it'll now download some stuff do some things and launch in to minecraft 1.8 forge with BSPKR's core, which is required for uh, Armor Status HUD to work, which is why we're really here. We want Armor Status HUD. So I will show you guys both of those mods are installed, which they are, and will be uh, good to go. So as you can see here, mods, Armor Status HUD, BSPKR's core, cool, single player, creative, and uh, we'll make sure these things are working. Now, I don't have any armor on, I believe, so we'll have to add some just to, uh, to get it to show up, but it uh, shouldn't be anything crazy. Let's go ahead and grab some armor here. Uh, we'll just grab a helmet. For example, a golden helmet. Why not? And boom, and there you go. Right down there in the bottom left-hand corner, we now have a helmet showing, as well as the uh, item that we're currently holding will show as well. For example, if we were to get a diamond sword here and equip that, it would tell us its durability. So, pretty cool stuff there. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome Minecraft tutorials, Minecraft Let's Plays, other video game Let's Plays and videos, other kinds of tutorials that aren't kind are in Minecraft. I make all of the videos, and uh, I just knocked my water bottle over. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It just kind of makes sense, right? I mean, it, it just, it just kind of makes sense. Anyway, I'm out, guys. Peace. 
And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out down. That way we've got how to install Status Effect HUD. You've got uh, Armor Status HUD. Why don't you get Status Effect HUD? It kind of makes sense. They literally go together. And down the other way is Mindtastic, which is an awesome mod in Minecraft Let's Play series where I play Minecraft 1.5.2, but that's not important. I play the FTB Unleashed mod pack. Have some fun with over 116 mods. It's a great time. Go check it out. I know you'll enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Nick's Games, and I am out, guys. Peace.